Greetings, folks, and welcome to a very special video, which is supposed to be a subscribers-only video, but I don't know if I can actually do that. So if you're a subscriber, thank you. If you're not a subscriber, well, you probably shouldn't be watching this video, so subscribe, and then you'll feel good about yourself. But anyway, so what are we viewing right here? Well, what you are viewing is a game that none of you have ever seen before. And it's actually technically not a game yet. It's not even near a game yet. This is, well, what I'm calling Star Factions. And it's actually a name, uh, the name's a work in progress. But Star Factions is a pet project that, actually, as I just realized today, I've actually been trying to make as a little kid. And with the technology where it is and the recent influx in space games and all that, uh, I've really been excited to kind of continue work on it. And when I was a kid, uh, I used to actually, like, play an old DOS and I put periods and word all over the place and pretend they were stars and move the cursor around like it was a little uh, starship and everything and as you can see I've progressed quite a ways here so <laughs> what is Star Factions and uh, are you looking at a still shot you may be asking and the answer is no this is actually fully 3D rendered right now and I, I'm going to have to talk a little bit about that because, uh, it, and first off, I'm, I should apologize for the frame rate, which I know is absolutely terrible. I'm looking at it right now at about 25 frames per second. There's a reason for that, and I'll get into it in a bit. But uh, anyway, uh, what is Star Factions, you may be asking yourself. And the answer is, uh, well, you're probably thinking, are you trying to copy Chris Roberts here or David Brabin? Chris Roberts being the Wing Commander Guru who is now making Star Citizen, or Chris Brabin, the Elite Builder? Uh, no, actually, I'm not trying to create yet another Space Trader. Um, it is going to have a lot in the same vein as a Space Trader. In fact, there's going to be very heavy Space Trader aspects to it. There's going to be fighting. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff. But what I'm actually envisioning with Star Factions is a much bigger game. It's a game where the player owns a faction. He can captain the ship, but he also is commander of all the assets that he owns. He can build colonies on distant planets and use those colonies to gain income and, and build his empire. Basically, I'm taking the concept of a space trader and attempting to marry it with a 4X. And for those of you that don't know, 4X is a very uh, in-depth, real-time strategy type game, or sometimes turn-based. Uh, Star Factions, though, will definitely be very real-time. Uh, Star Factions, like I said, it, it's been a dream of mine. Um, I've really wanted to make it. When I was a little kid, uh, I had click and play. And I used to make all sorts of fun stuff in Click and Play, and I was a big sci-fi nut, and I started making these really cool things that were very spacey and allowed you to kind of colonize planets and blow up enemy, you know, carriers and battleships and stuff. And it sounded all really cool and stuff, but considering what it was made in, it actually wasn't as spectacular as it sounds. And uh, that's kind of the goal, is to kind of take everything that I imagined, all, all the, the wonderful visions and dreams that I had as a child, and actually try to make something out of it that's really fun and something that a lot of people would really get a kick out of playing. And uh, so, yeah, that's that's kind of where this is going. And I'll definitely, you know, this is, this is kind of a thank you video for my subscribers, uh, kind of a sneak peek. Uh, I want to see your guys' thoughts on this, but in the future I'm also going to be releasing more public videos as the, the progress of this game comes along. Uh, assuming it does, there's a lot of ifs in that. But uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of want to get a feeling of the pulse of the gaming community as far as what they think and, and what they feel should be a part of Star Factions, you know? Um, and there are some rules to that, and I'm not going to go into them uh, as far as this particular video. I'll start getting more into it, uh, but very specifically, I don't want it to feel like Star Star Trek. Uh, I'd rather it feel a li little bit more grounded, a little bit more grittier, but, um, you know, Star Trek's very polished and refined and everything. And as you can see by this battleship here, uh, that's definitely not what I'm looking for. <laughs> Nothing wrong with Star Trek, but uh, it's just, in my mind, Star Factions has never been Star Trek or anything like it. So, uh, yeah, there definitely gave me some rules in that regard, like what technologies are good and which ones are not. And some of them may be surprising, some of the ones I'm including and some of the ones I'm throwing out. But, uh, 
regardless, anything that I think, you know, should be in the game or not, um, I really want your, your feedback on it, too. And once I start releasing more videos, we'll start getting into the features and some of my ideas. And uh, I'll just see what you guys think. And I might even change my mind on some of my game ideas to kind of facilitate what I feel the gaming community would be more interested in. And that's totally fine with me. I want a game everybody enjoys. So, yeah, definitely, uh, once we get there, let me know. Uh, currently, though, let me know what you think of what you see. And I was going to say about the frame rate, why it's so bad right now is uh, this awesome battle cruiser I really can't take credit for. It's actually stock model that I found on Turbo Squid. It's absolutely amazing, but unfortunately it's got a substantially high polygon count, so this will not be in the final game, and that really is kind of sad because when I saw this thing, I was just like that is absolutely amazing. But it won't be in the game, A, for the polygon count, and B, because since it is a stock asset, I can't guarantee I'm not going to be seeing it all over the place, and I want star factions to have units and battle cruisers and all sorts of fun stuff that are really specific to star factions. And if I have to do the 3D modeling myself, I'm going to do it. I've actually got a legitimate copy of 3D Studio Max, and let me tell you, I spent many years saving up for that bad boy. And I've been playing around, and i got a spaceship idea I'll be doing, so hopefully I'll be releasing a new video with that spaceship pretty soon. But for now, I thought I'd kind of just showcase this one, because even though it's not mine, it's not going to the final product, it's absolutely amazing. It really showcases the beauty of the engine so far. Once again, this is my engine. I call it Cirrus. Uh, I have a, a friend, actually a couple of friends who've kind of helped me out along with it too. Uh, some of the coding has been uh, from them, and it's very, you know, they've been lifesavers in the whole thing. So credit goes to them. That's uh, Zach Sloan and Will Roush. I hope you guys don't mind me saying your names on my YouTube channel out loud. Uh, Zach and Will have actually both been in a couple of my Hootie Who Games videos. We're good friends, and they are fellow developers like myself. So uh, their contributions, once again, thank you guys so much. And if you want to keep contributing, feel free. I'm totally cool with that. So uh, we, we kind of put it on the hiatus a bit. I think uh, life got in the way, and it's just a daunting task trying to make your own game. So, yeah, um, if you guys are bored right now, I totally understand. Like I said, this isn't even a game yet. What you're seeing is pretty much all you can get. Uh, there's not a whole lot more going on than this, but I just wanted to show the engine off, show the, the modeling, um, what the engine's capable of. Uh, another reason I'm getting a low frame rate too, though, is because I'm in windowed mode, and for some reason Cirrus doesn't like that too much. It likes to be in full screen. I get way more frames per second doing that. But, uh, yeah, it's it's not too bad. I've, I've put a lot of effort into it. Um, these are actually being loaded from Collada files, uh, which also means the loading's kind of slow, because Collada's a very... It's an interchange format. It's really not designed for game engines. So eventually I'll be caching those out to a binary format that's specific to Star Factions, and that'll make those load a lot quicker. The planet that you see behind you here, uh, I'll just go on ahead and say that pretty much every art asset you see here is either from Turbo Squid directly, or it is from the Hubble Telescope, and I've just turned it into a sky sphere. But uh, anyways, the planet is also a Turbo Squid asset, which is also a combination of NASA photography, and I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, future ideas for it, I would like to, at the very least, be able to see colonies from orbit. I'm sure a lot of you out there are thinking the same thing that I'm thinking right now, and I'm not holding any promises. However, I think it would be awesome if you could actually land on the planets, preferably seamlessly. So I may be working that into that. We'll see. That is a huge, huge, huge feature to the game, though. There's a lot of things to consider and a lot of technology to write to get it to work that way. In fact, I've actually done it in the past, so I know the work that's ahead of me for it. Um, unfortunately, uh, Cirrus... The engine that this is all running on has been around for a very long time. Nobody's ever heard about it, but every time I try to write it and get it good, something always happens and I end up having to rewrite it. So I've learned a lot from my mistakes, and I'm hoping this is the series that will do it and will stick around for a while. Uh, currently, it's based off of DirectX 9, which I know is kind of antiquated. However, the API is designed in such a way that I should be able to snap in DirectX 10 and 11 technologies. Plus, we're focusing on potentially putting in OpenGL. I would like to see Cirrus-based games running natively on Linux systems and possibly even Mac OS systems as well. I think that would be really awesome. Um, kind of unite the gaming community on the PC as much as I possibly can. So that'll be a big plus. Next question you might be asking is, why not Unity? Why not Unreal? Well, I kind of understand those questions. A lot of people, you know, those things put out a lot of 
interesting content. Some of it great, some of it not so good. Uh, I have considered them. There is some learning curves to it, and the other thing is I'm a bit of a control freak, to be honest. Uh, I like to know what my engine's doing, and I like to be able to focus on really refining the engines that suit my particular need at the moment. And dealing professionally with uh, computer systems and libraries that I haven't personally written really can add to rapid application development. However, I also tend to find that myself quite a bit limited, and I have a history of pushing things outside their limits. So I decided by the end of the day it would probably be best just to write an engine that is specific. Right now, Cirrus by default is supposed to be a generalized engine, but right now the feature set that I'm writing for it will probably be specific to Star Factions. And if it gets popular and it starts gaining a following or anything like that, I'll probably start expanding it out into something bigger because in, in addition to writing games, writing the engines themselves I find to be kind of rewarding. So I'd like to see Cirrus turn into something that's reusable for any different type of game, whether you're talking massively multiplayer fantasy or, you know, your own spacey things, real world military tactics, have fun. I'd like to see it be able to accommodate any type of game. So basically, I know I haven't told you guys a whole lot. I know I've given you guys a, you know, talk for a long time and not given you really a, a lot of information on it. But uh, the reason for that is because I've got a lot in my head and a lot that I would really like to see Star Factions become. Uh, like I said, it's a childhood dream of mine. Uh, I'm really excited about it, but it can be a little overwhelming, the feature set I want, and it's right now basically just me making it happen. So I'm not really sure what's going to end up in the final game, but I will say this. I'm not going to throw it in unless I feel like A, it complements the game, and B, it can be done in a very fluid way, you know, so it feels natural to the game mechanics. Uh, I would really, like I said, like to see dropships flying to planets, uh, you know, battle cruisers blowing each other up in orbit. I think it would be awesome if you could personally pilot the fighter ships, fly Corvette classes or, around, be the captain on the bridge ordering your teammates around. These are things that I would really like to see uh, from the personal perspective, from the overall perspective, you know, setting up colonies and space stations, uh, creating trade routes, and, you know, just lots of cool stuff like that. Like basically a colonial management, uh, territory takeover. So like you, you own the colonies, you own the territories the colonies are in. If you launch a battle on a planet and you, you take the colony, it's yours to keep and you can do whatever you want with it, you know. That kind of stuff would just be absolutely awesome. And it's a feature set I, I hope I can include the entire thing of. But, you know, only time's going to be able to tell on that. So uh, I guess if I'm going to leave you guys with a question, it is out of everything I just said there, what what most excites you, I guess? Uh, what would you like to see in this? Uh, now, keep in mind, I want Star Factions to be its own thing, so it isn't mimicking anything else out there. Like I said, it's going to have some strong similarities to a lot of games that have already been created, but... I want something that makes Star Factions unique, so, you know, if you're excited about the the space trading and everything, let me know, but, you know, if you're, you're, if you're seeing, like, the, the 4X aspect, if that's really appealing to you, I really want to know, yay or nay on that, because I really see that as being the defining factor. There's really not many space games, I can't actually even think of a single space game, that really lets you command things from the captain's chair, you know, watching the fighters fly around and blow stuff up, all while you're right there and still allow you to manage your own faction. So that's really my goal with this game is to, to really add an immersion while giving you, the player, maximum control over what's going on. And needless to say, that's going to turn it effectively into a sandbox. Will there be a storyline? Well, that's still to be determined. I would like to see a storyline. However, I wouldn't want it to be something that the player is hard-pressed to do. I want them to fly around, have fun, explore, create colonies, mine, trade, you know, imperialize, whatever they want to do. That's really why I want the, p the player focused on, you know. So, alrighty. Well, I think I'm going to pretty much close this uh, video up for now, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy what you see so far. Oh, and I can move the starship, so... Okay, I'm not going to do that. It's making beeping noises. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy what you see, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have fun.